quick Bill's Weather 101 time for you here. So you can do this experiment at home. We've still got snow hanging around over by Keeneland. You see it there. It's actually less than it was even an hour ago, and I'll explain why in just a second with that too. But you can try this experiment. Why has the snow hung around? Even though the temperature the last two days has been in the 60s and pushing 70, we haven't gone below freezing at night. What's happening is as that snow is trying to melt and water forms on the top as it's trying to evaporate, as it's trying to go to the gas, what it's doing is it's doing evaporative cooling. And what it's doing is right at that snow surface, it's creating a colder temperature. So try this at home. Get a glass of water, put some ice in it. Set a glass or an ice cube inside a bowl. See which one melts faster. It'll be the one in the glass. So because again, it's a more moist environment, it's able to melt faster. Don't get that evaporative cooling effect. So there you go. Max Track Doppler 618. Nothing going on here. A little water would be nice now to just kind of get the salt off the roads. It's going to take a little while. The little rain we got coming in tomorrow, probably not enough. Luck of the Irish for St. Patrick's Day Thursday as it does look warm. And one more normalish day in the middle of a warm eight day forecast. Talking about the evaporative cooling. When that's, you're getting that to happen, the air temperature is trying to fall toward the dew point, which right now is still below freezing. So again, right at that ice surface, it's colder than it is even on top of those bushes we were showing you. 69 Bluegrass Airport with that dry after a high today that did make 70. You look around from the Kentucky Mezzanine, it's low in mid 60s, so all substantially cooler than the Bluegrass Airport thermometer. But tomorrow, to the north of 64, the sun comes out, 72 Frankfurt, 70 in Cynthiana. Clouds will be thicker south of 64, where you see the mid 60s, like the 65 in Nicholasville, 65 in Frenchburg, but 72 in Maysville, again, cooler south compared to north. Coolest in the southeast, 61 in Barberville, 61 Hazard, 62 in Boonville. Clouds will be thickest, more rain around too. Same in the lakes, 60 Whitley City in London, but 66 in Stanford. More clouds, more rain, a little bit more sun, maybe around Lebanon. And as we look ahead for you, lots of warmth tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. There's your one day of cool normal-ish and then warm it right back up again. Rain chances are around for us tomorrow, more south than north. Best rain chances are Friday lasting into Saturday. Future track, we've got a storm passing by to our south, but as it rotates counterclockwise, starts lobbing some moisture up this way, there is your rain chance as we get you into the afternoon tomorrow. For tonight, mainly clear, not quite warm, but not bad for March either. Overnight lows will be in the low 40s tomorrow. Some sun, especially early in the day, the clouds will increase and thicken up. Rain chances arrive. We'll be in the mid 60s by the time we get you to Thursday, St. Patrick's Day, right around 70. Upper 60s with showers and storms around on Friday. Those will be ending during the day on Saturday. Spring begins on Sunday. Looks good. And another warm up into next week.